Hello everybody, welcome to my house. What a very strange way to be talking to you about GCSE Ethics. For those people that don't know me, I'm Mrs Seekings and I'm Head of Ethics and of PSHE. Um, I actually really enjoy teaching GCSE Ethics because some of the topics we look at are actually quite fun. Um, they're a little bit different to what you normally look at in school. So for example, things like animal experiments. Uh, are they a good idea? Do they benefit human beings? Or should they be completely banned because they harm the animal? We also look at things like war and capital punishment, which is the death sentence, should the death sentence be carried out. And if you sort of like arguing about topics like that, this is definitely the uh, subject for you to take. One of the good things about GCSE ethics is you do get monks for your own opinion. So if that's the sort of thing you like doing, then again, this should be something that, that you will really enjoy. Ethics is regarded as a humanity, which means that by employers and universities, it's taken very seriously. Um, so I hope you enjoy um, the PowerPoint presentation that I'm about to do. Bye for now. Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation. I am not going to read out everything that is on the screen, so uh, I can say some extra things uh, as we're going along, but thank you for logging on to find out about GCSE Ethics. So uh, this uh, slide sums up some of the things that I mentioned in the initial um, recording uh, when you could actually see my face. One thing I forgot to mention was you do get marks for giving your own opinion, which I think is excellent. So if you need further time to uh, read what I've got on the slide, please feel free to pause uh, and I will carry on. OK, so one of the things that I get asked so much is what sort of jobs uh, can you do with GCSE, the GC, ooh, GCSE ethics? Uh, and here is a list. Um, GCSE ethics is regarded as a humanities uh, uh, GCSE and is regarded uh, as significant with uh, employers and uh, with universities if you went on to higher education. So again, you have a few minutes to read the whole of that slide if you want to. OK, so I've mentioned quite a lot uh, in my uh, initial recording about the topics. Here is quite a detailed list of some of them. I'll leave you to look through. Uh, will I just talk about some of my favourite to teach? I love teaching life after death. Some really interesting topics there. Things like uh, reincarnation. Did that really happen? Um, do people have past lives that they can remember? Are near-death experiences real? These are experiences that people have when they've died clinically, but then are resuscitated and come back. What happens to them between dying and coming back uh, into this world? So that's quite uh, an interesting topic. And so is animal experimentation. Should we experiment on animals or not? The family module. Also, I like talking, uh, you know, uh, Talking about things like contraception, homosexuality, being a good parent, that sort of thing. We do look at uh, Islam and Christianity from a religious point of view, uh, and we also look at atheism and humanism. So the exam, two two hour exams. Uh, there are uh, short questions and longer questions. As you can see from this slide, there is a 12 mark question which has a statement on. Here are some examples of the sorts of questions you might be asked. Uh, here's one on experiments. Experiments on animals save lives of people. Uh, things like uh, abortion. Is it right or wrong? So there are always topics where you can have two different points of view and you can argue your case and say why the other case uh, is wrong. So if that's the sort of thing you like doing, this is definitely the, the GCSE for you. So uh, here is some information on how we answer exam questions in an exam. Um, I found that if students sort of have a, had a model, then they can include everything they need on that and then uh, they're able to get higher marks in the exam. I'm not going to go through this in a lot of detail now because there's not time, but obviously if you do do the GCSE, we will spend a lot of time helping you uh, to get as many marks as you can in each of the questions. OK, so we do have other things to help. Here you can see that we've got Schoology and uh, knowledge organisers. Uh, two of the interesting ones I have um, 
highlighted and underlined pink perfect pages uh, perfect answers to the 12 mark questions so um, you know if you find it a little bit daunting writing uh, you know 10 lines or more then this will help you show what a perfect answer would look like uh, and then knowledge organizers they're really good because you have quizzes there to test your knowledge so you're revising the topic then you want to see how much of it can you remember you can remember these quizzes will really help you out with that so if you have any questions then please please feel free to email me uh, or your ethics teacher that's fine uh, we look forward to hearing from you bye for now